Hi, I'm Jessica from that hashtag show, and I'm excited to sit down with Zach today to talk about Barbarian. Um, I've been holding in my feelings on this film because I actually got to screen it uh, during Comic Con like a month ago. Oh, wow. I'm so okay. excited to finally almost be time for everybody else to get to see it so I can talk about it with everybody else. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Okay, so to kick things off, during our press conference earlier today, I know you were talking about casting, and you had mentioned that Georgina Campbell was exactly like who you pictured for Tess originally, but Justin Long was somebody who was like totally different, and you sort of figure that out in the process. So I'm wondering, what was your original vision for Keith, and how does Bill Skarsgård's character measure up to your original thought process there? You know, Bill's pretty much a bullseye of what I had in mind. You know, I, I wanted somebody that was very tall, check, um, physically attractive, check, and had an air of, of potential menace. Check, big check on very that much. one. And so, you know, the moment he opens the door, the audience is like, oh, you know, like everybody's ready to be afraid of him because of all the, you know, horrible things he's done. Um, so it was a dream, you know, casting him was a dream. And, you know, my only direction to Bill was like, don't be creepy. You know, you don't don't lean into anything creepy. Right. Like you be nice, and people are gonna project creepy onto you. Like that, you've already won that war. So all you gotta do is be sweet and charming and nice. And um, I think I think that worked. Absolutely, I love that as a direction. You're like you're you're creepy enough. They already yeah. know, dude. You're a freak. <laughs> a okay, stuff. we all know it. Let's call it what it is. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Um, and I know that you had mentioned Barbarian started out more as like a writing exercise for like yeah. a specific scene and then grew into this movie, which is so cool and has all of these crazy twists and turns that really keep everybody on the edge of their seat. So when you were going from the sort of original scene to turning this into a full movie, what was your thought process there? Did this sort of come out linearly like we see it in the film or did yeah. you have like another crazy idea and connect it together? Well, so originally when I just did Tessa's chapter and it ends down in the in the basement, it was over. You know, I, I, I kind of was done. It was like the end. It's a 40 minute short film that I'll never make and no one's ever going to want to produce, let alone read. So I was like, ah, but I loved it. I really liked it a lot. And so um, I just couldn't leave it alone. So a couple of days later, I sat down and I and I wrote the, the next section um, and and that's when I started to think this might be a movie. Uh, I was already like maybe at a, at like you know seventy pages, and I was like, okay, I think I think I might be able to like land the plane. Um, and uh, so that was the process. Perfect. And then you also have a really strong comedy background, but this is horror, but also is very funny as well, which I think is one of the great strengths of Barbarian. Thank you. So Thank did you. you know as you were writing this that? you always wanted to have that humor in there? Is that just sort of something that comes out because it's what you do? Exactly. It was more just like I didn't, because I was not writing for an audience or thinking that one day my agent's going to read this, I, I had a, a real sense of freedom. And uh, it was really joyful, you know, the, the writing of this. So I, I just wrote what I wanted. I was, what would be my favorite thing to happen right now? That's what I'm going to write. And I didn't, I didn't think about it deeply, you know, um, which I think is... As a professional, it's hard to, to be in that lane where you're not worried about the outcome or the final product, but you're just enjoying the process. And, um, and so this is a product of, of that mindset. And so um, that, that's as good of an answer as I think I'm capable of. I wish I had something Absolutely. thoughtful, but I don't. No, that, that makes sense. Um, and then coming down to the end here, one of my favorite parts about seeing Barbarian in a theater with a bunch of people was it was just a crowd and everybody feeling that energy and yeah. basically like screaming, no, don't do that. Whenever right. <laughs> Tess was going to go do something that we were like, oh, no, that's going to be bad. Yeah. So I was wondering at what point in sort of her early journey there, uh, if you were in her shoes, would you say is the tap out point for you where you're like, mm, I have to get out of this situation? I am I am much less altruistic than Tess is, so I I would have bounced pretty quick, I think. Although I don't know because I would have behaved the way Keith behaves. You know, I would have been like, "There's a room, I'm gonna go look at it." You know, like I don't I, I'll see for myself. Like that's a very man sort of an attitude, and that's I have to confess that's my attitude. So um, I think if I was Keith, I would have behaved the same way, and I would have had the same outcome. 
Uh, so that shows what I what I'm working with over here. I think if I was Tess, I hope I would have I would have uh, gone down to rescue him, but I probably wouldn't have had the courage. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, <laughs> I would have bounced. <laughs> yeah. All right. And final question: Can we expect any more horror flicks from you in the future? Because I think there is going to be a huge demand. After oh, yeah, I hope so. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm currently writing two movies. I'm writing a horror and I'm writing a thriller and they're both really hard. And I'm trying to have the same process where I don't really know and I'm just kind of feeling. So the, you know, part of the, the con of operating that way is that sometimes you write yourself off of a cliff and, and you've wasted your time. So it, it, it remains to be seen if that's what I'm doing right now. I, I really, I couldn't tell you. Hopefully not. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Barbarian is going to be out in theaters September 9th.